one of the jibber jabber streams you know in a while what the, what the hell is this i want to click on this Are this supposed to be like gnomes i don't know Oh man, Dile Bro says, I wonder how the balance will be once the green seeds get their update. <laughs> you expecting uh, we're gonna get update for green seeds before like July? Hmm. Don't mind this. Oh. Don't be loud. Okay. There's yeah, something in the background, it's not so quiet. Using Doom's cave and engineer to destroy Itza earthquake or under city explosion. Why didn't they just use the plague? Wait for the garrison to die and enter the city. Let's just use the plague, right? Like, Clown Pestilence used to be one of the easiest campaigns. Uh, just send in the plague priest. You're playing Clown Pestilence, uh, for fuck's sake. You just plague the city and uh, on the last turn of the plague you take it. The garrison will just all die. No. I think uh, we're not gonna get a new patch until... Uh, until uh, at least the middle of December. Dwarves Mega OP. Every campaign I play, the mob gets taken over by the dwarves, empire, etc. I'm tired of fighting against the blue ocean. Greenskins vampire cunts seem to be used against them and die early. Chaos Innovation is also a joke at the moment. Well, Chaos Innovation has been a joke for two years. Confederations seem to happen every other turn for the good empires. Oh, man. I mean, this is the usually the, what people have issue with these uh, units. They don't know how to position them. They don't know how they, you can zoom in to the ground and then, uh, you know, see the amount of elevation that is between a unit and the, the ground. You know, you know when I show the trick how to deploy guns units, you zoom in to the unit, you look inside their uh, 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 fire, uh, your light... Uh, line of fire and just uh, adjust the camera and you will see if they can shoot or not. Usually people have this idea that uh, the range units should always be behind melee units, but uh, when the guns exist it's it's not correct. If you want to keep a handgun and unit behind the uh, infantry, then it's only going to have to fit their main role, which is due to shoot large units. Which the handgunners are strictly uh, exist in that scenario as an anti-large unit. That is Talcus. I'm actually go. I'm scared to go check Reddit. I was running uh, uh, every uh, like three different Reddits yesterday, and not at all War One. Graphing settings not remembered. Uh, yeah, th this is a bug currently in the game. CAVX? Who the hell is CAVX? I have a new guy.
Um, just uh, chatting here, guys. If you have any questions, just ask. Uh, I'm not, uh, uh, I'm not gonna be starting yet. Uh, nothing yet. I'll be done with Witcher 2 for now. We'll continue some other time. Uh, we think, I think we saved in a good, pl a good place. I'm happy where we are, where we at now. Total war rated. Here we go. <coughs> Can you imagine uh, uh, it would be such a thing like uh, on, on Twitch where you just read Reddit all day? There's so much things on Reddit, it's like nobody can even uh, keep up. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go, we are on Reddit, boys. I'm on Reddit, I'm Elich with a... With a with an underscore. Yo. Let's see what's the most popular right now. By Sigmar. Imperials of Excellence playing as the Empire in a single player campaign. 0.8% of players have this achievement. Damn. Just one second, guys. Okay. This is uh, Warhammer 2. Have all achievements unlocked? Uh, let's see. I, I don't think so. I stopped caring about achievements when I started streaming. I have uh, 118 out of 136. Let's uh, compare the global achievements. So, look at this, 24.5% of the people have never even played the game, and they bought the game. That is amazing. 24.5% have never completed the ritual, and they bought Warhammer 2. This must be over 100,000 people bought the game but never even installed it, or played more than one hour. You never completed the ritual? What do you mean you never completed the ritual? You never never started a, a Vortex campaign. I mean, I mean, the first ritual, it's fast to complete. I mean, look at this, look at this. With a single lord, make 100 kills during a battle. 73% people. Have a level 10 lord, only 72% of the players. Are these people even playing the game? What are they doing in the game? Nearly 30% of the people have never uh, uh, won 10 campaign battles in a single campaign. Well, it's a combination of offline mod mods and people who just buy the games, collect the games and don't play them. Wow. Legend Monks Man. Playing as the Empire win a single player campaign on very hard Legend difficulty. 0.3% of the player has the most rare achievement. Wow. Hey, Kong Glock. Senile Crafted. I don't have this one, but it says here playing as the Exodus of Neck, craft everything within the Mortuary Cult. I could have done this, but why would you craft everything? Just for the achievement, right? 
this is just before we build it. We uh, ended the campaign on uh, on the on the uh, snowball effect. So I don't have all the achievements. I, uh, some I miss some clearly. Some of them are just only in vortex. Is it a chimney with the ladies LC probably? Playing as a dark elves, research 45 technologies. Apparently I've never done this before. Playing as the uh, uh, high elves own at least three thriving elven colonies. You know how many tri uh, elven colonies are in the game? Three. And it says at least three. It doesn't say all three, it says at least three. There is the one in the in the uh, volcanic isles. There's actually two of them. Moral Empress only have two, I think. Can't even do this in Moral Empires. It's Arnheim and uh, uh, this volcanic isles capital. I think uh, uh, Moral Empires only has two. Okay, moving on. Playing as a Skaven in the search for technologies. What the hell? I did uh, had the four technologies with Skaven. Yeah, it looks like a lot of these are just in, uh, in Vortex, because I've done this, and I've done this, but uh, in Mortal Empires. Yeah, most of them are out of Vortex. Okay, uh, let's get rid of, uh, go, this is the boring part of the Reddit. The, the fun part of the Reddit is when you click here and go controversial. In the last, in this week, let's see. What is this? Cave and removal mode. Is there any mod that exists to make Skaven so unbelievably weak that they can no longer annoy me? I do not enjoy fighting them. I wish they could be wiped out as easily as possible so I could focus on fighting factions and not to bring four armies to every fight. What kind of Skaven is he playing with? Can I turn down music down? Uh, what, what do you mean? What's wrong with the music? I think it's very, very low. Is it triggering a... Uh, uh the music is very low. I don't think I can even lower it any more than this. No, no, you can you can barely hear the music. God damn, what the hell is this? Get more oh, PC gamer, right?
Oh, Rubio, you Pepega. Holy shit, people still don't know how to make screenshots. <laughs> Turn the music down. You know, the daily begging for a, uh, uh, you know, total water day choice. What would be the average age of Total War player? Uh, it's over 25 years old. Usually probably over 30. I took England as Denmark. Good job. For your next challenge, you must take a screenshot of a camera. Best of luck. Oh man, that's hilarious. Ooh, looks like Audrius is... Uh, is uh, streaming. I haven't even noticed. This is like, you read a bunch of random stuff and then there is a shameless uh, plug, uh, you know, pr self promoting. Oh my god. <laughs> Every time I see this, it's just so funny. A good objective at this point is the campaign will be to learn how to F12. Man. If I wasn't so lazy to get up now, I would totally do some fun screenshots to put on Reddit. Like, I think my next screenshot on Reddit, I will take my phone, my phone camera, and I'm gonna make a screenshot of a uh, thing I wanna show, and I'm gonna show it to my phone camera, just, you know, to keep the meme alive. Is this a tutorial? I wish Total War series would have more story-driven campaigns. And you know, and then, uh, you know, kill all the replay value from, from, the, uh, from the sandbox experience, right? Okay, here we get something interesting, boys. Dorf, artillery ranked best to worst overall. Dorf. Whether he doesn't want to write W or he says W on his keyboard. 
Uh, anyone wanna win? Anyone win row? Oh my god, what is this? Is this English? Is this some kind of uh, Reddit uh, language I don't recognize? This thing here? Anyone uh, win or comment on my list here? I've played them a bunch in my campaign, but lots of changes lately. You played them a bunch, huh? Anyone want to? Want to, okay. Okay, maybe it's want to, yeah. Here is my experience with the door with the door for artillery. Garage Trove, top tier, cheap and great arc. Must be playing multiplayer. Cannons, great single target dips, decent arc, top tier. Organ gun, situational. <laughs> Where's my Spanish guy? <laughs> Situational? Oh man, I'm in tears. Oh, one second. Okay, okay, I'm here, I'm here. Uh, organ gun situational good against horses and monster, decent. The only time uh, the organ guns get outperformed by the Galach Trover, it's in a siege battle. Just because the Galach Trover can shoot in a bombarding arc and the organ gun can't. You have to a little play with a little bit of position of the organ gun in a siege battle to get hundreds of kills. But in open field, organ gun has three times the performance of the garage thrower. Three times. And that's, I feel like, not saying enough. Flame cannon. Never really used, seems kind of weak. Bolt throwers. What the fuck is with these things? Their arc seems uh, unusually terrible. In all but perfect settings, hard pass. Flame Drakes, fucking love these guys, but uh, don't know if they are really arty, but use them in close range. So he he says this from the Flame Drakes, it's not even artillery, and he says this for the Flame Cannon. But the Flame Cannon is just better uh, Iron Drakes. Especially at the, uh, for the guys that are uh, not in melee. Organ Gun, Siche. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is good comedy. I don't watch comedy shows anymore, guys. I just come to Reddit instead. Oh man.
man. The organ guns. Any word of dueling system in being played in total or Warhammer 3? Oh god, no, please. Please. How to play Pirates of Sarasota? I don't know this faction. Dueling should be like a unique mechanic for some lords, like the ones that you know uh, have the duelist stuck. So they they should force the enemy lord to fight like that. So uh. There's a combat here from the. Uh, how do I not suck at this? So I've tried a few times to get into these games, mostly Warhammer 2, a little ROM. I find that I'm just not very good at them. I never seem to get enough income to get big enough army to actually do anything other than defend. As soon as I try to send an army out, I get a 20 stake randomly show up and sack my cities. Is watching battles over Auto Resolve ever actually worth the time? The only benefit I can seem to see is that it's a close fight. Everyone will come away wounded rather than dead. It's like... Is watching battles over Auto Resolve ever actually worth the time? The only benefit I can seem to see if it's a close fight, everyone will come away wounded rather than dead. What, what game is he playing here? Now this, this has to be a troll. This has to be a troll. What, what, what's, the, what's the comment here? Uh, try not to expand too much too early. Build up your starting province so you can afford the second army. But don't be idle. Constantly have your main Starting province. How how does starting province uh, afford two armies? Unless you're playing two kings. Hmm. This guy's. Telling you to build a second army f soon. This guy is telling me don't build a second army early on. Hold on, hold on, let's interrupt this for a second. 
Let's go to the, uh, the Saga Three Kingdoms. See, uh, I want to see something here. Steam, what the hell? What the hell, Steam? 2,500 people playing Three Kingdoms right now. 89 positive, 81 positive. Twenty five hundred and twenty five people in the game right now. How many are people playing Warhammer right now? Over four times that. What the hell? CA is currently developing a team arena shooter in the same way as Overwatch right now. This is it boys, this is this is time to go into esports. They didn't deliver they didn't deliver an esport worthy game for a, for years and they're finally tapping that esports money. Sponsors and shit. Becoming a professional professional uh esport. Professional, professional player. That can be right. Overwatch must be one of the most mind-numbing games I've ever seen. He is making a shooter. <laughs> Guys, it's all clear now. It's all clear why the Warhammer 3 is delayed. We haven't had any news of Warhammer 3 in over two years. Now it makes sense. First three kingdoms and now we get... Uh, look at this. Look at their website. Is this is this the creator of Total War here? What game is that?
Hold on, there's actually collision in those uh, videos. Hey, Frog. What the hell is this? What is this game? Why was that guy shooting with the uh, rear machine gun? The recording uh, the gunshot sounds for the new game. This doesn't uh, trick. This is not tricking. There's not enough arrows on the screen. This. What the hell is this? Oh man, they're really doing an FPS game. CA. Taking FPS to a new frontier. Oh god. Is this gonna be their attempt to get the esports going again? Taking FPS to a new frontier, uh, Creative Assembly Steam behind the critically acclaimed Alien Isolation and Halo Wars 2 are working on a brand new FPS IP. It's the biggest multi-platform project Creative Assembly have ever undertaken. This is it boys, this is why uh, the Warhammer 2 is getting delayed. F find you finally figured it out. They're creating an FPS, they're creating a card game. No wonder they have no time for uh, to make Warhammer 3. There's Total War Arena here. False advertising. This shit game is dead. Update this shit. Become the world's first superpower. What about the Persians? They're not superpower. Oh god. FPS boys, we're getting FPS. That's why the Warhammer 3 is delayed. I think everybody recommending Medieval 2 in 2019 should uh, first recommend uh, investing into technology to create uh, time machines and going back into 2009 to play Medieval 2 when it was at the height of the, uh, the mod era. My opinion, ROM 1, then Medieval 2, and then at this point with a shit ton of mods, ROM 2. The uh, Medieval 2 stainless steel was uh, one of my favorite, uh, my favorite single player experiences. 
until uh, Solution 5. If anybody uh, uh, played it, you guys you would remember. Medieval 2 with a stainless steel mod. They totally saved Medieval 2 for me. A lot of people also like the third age uh, uh, for the Medieval 2. But, uh, you know, I have to be honest with you guys. Uh, the reason why I couldn't play the third age is because it, uh, it would uh, keep making me watch Lord of the Rings. And there's only so many times somebody can watch Lord of the Rings because it takes 10 hours to finish the three movies. The height of Medieval 2 was like 2009. After that, it started to started to age, especially uh, with all the features at least in New Total Wars that were not implemented in Medieval 2. I, I think honestly the, the perfect setting for uh, historical little war is the is the uh, Hellenistic period between the, uh, the death of Alexander the Great and the rise of the Roman Empire. That feels, that feels like it's the feels the best period for uh, historical total war in, in uh, for total war games, and I feel like the total war games are based on that period. How the uh, the battles are designed and the, and the campaign map. After that, it's probably the, the periods uh, uh, between the first or before first and the third crusade. It's probably uh, uh, is the best periods uh, for uh, for the total wars system they created. It's very hard to create a uh, medieval uh, total war game because, you know, the, the way they did it in the base medieval 2, it's it's a fail. You know, because it spans through uh, some big events and the uh, a lot of technological advancements, which uh, uh, it doesn't really fit inside one medieval campaign. You can easily create uh, three to five medieval campaigns uh, uh, out of a medieval 2 setting. Come on, I dare you. like all the scrolls so the AI is the firing your teeth is just sending a teeth into melee
I had nice, nice textures, look at that. The fact that I can't even move trebuchets is like, it's so bad. Legendary challenge campaign trolls only. With Trog. Oh, you use trolls with Trog, right? Every time I see a Vrzak and uh, his unit variety makes me cry. I don't like the XP buff, the air guard. It's it's a good uh, good thing, Asterian Mola, but uh, they're getting it too fast. They need to scale it down by 20%. They should not be able to get rank 7 in 25 turns. If it's 20% slower, it's, it's fine. It's the right idea, but poor implementation. 20% slower uh, would be perfect. And I hope they adjust it and they just leave it like it is. Hell, man. <laughs> well, look at look at this. They look at his screenshot. <laughs> Jesus. A turn under Bell in Marienburg. <laughs> I just love it when I come on Reddit and uh, people have posted screenshots uh, without proper uh, way. The picture is sideways because OP is lying on the battlefield bleeding out from that army just ravaging him. Okay, upload that shit. Not only did you... <laughs> Why would I go watch comedy shows when I can just go on Reddit and uh, read the people uh, with this bad screenshot posting? Not only did you uh, use your phone to take a picture of your screen instead of just screenshotting it, but you also submitted it on its side. LOL dude, LOL. Poor guy probably had a stroke and uh, didn't know how he was facing his camera when he seen the, the damage hell blasters on turn 9.
They, thanks, I hate it, all of it. Every single sideways pixel. This is truly a sign of chaos corruption. Next level of phone screenshots that can even be made, I'm impressed. You got a rebellion that was halfway to Australia, clearly. Hey, cookies. Completely forgot that one could enable Warhammer mode in Rome. Arcade style battles. Oh, it's not really a Warhammer mode. Arcade style enables, uh, uh, in terms of uh, stuff like stamina, morale, and uh, uh, arrows, ammo. At least plan the for Wood Hills and Beast campaigns with financial coverage. Yeah, this is actually a pretty good idea to merge those two DLCs. Because uh, look, look at this insanity. Look at this insanity. Call of the Beastman, 19 euros. So that's more than 20 bucks for you Americans. Realm of the Wood Elves. Look at the prices here. That is insane. The prices for this is insane. They should just merge it. Imagine they release a, a Warhammer 3 with all the uh, 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 previous Warhammer stuff. People are gonna be crying mad. Uh, uh, when uh, uh, when they see the prices, when they see all the prices. It's, it's absolutely right, uh, this thing here. They're selling you a mini campaign nobody even cares about. Sounds like almost uh, like my uh, Empire campaign outside uh, Aldorf. Where was that picture? This one here. Bretonia fighting... Hold on, hold on. What is he playing? He must be playing Dark Elves. Yeah, this is the current state of the game when Bretonia Empire and Dwarves run wild. Looks like a lost alliance to me. Can we just ban low effort phone pictures already? They really degrade the quality of the sub. Yeah, this is this is the, the typical stuff in uh, diplomacy. 
Cetra from Henry are comes to the uh, Doom Kingdoms. They say together we may be as mighty as Henry. What are your terms? And no, nothing happens. It seems like uh, uh, when you approach uh, the Hans Marshall expedition as Karl Franz, and then the Hans Marshall is threatening you, uh, you know, the Karl Franz having kill him or something, and he's the Karl Franz. No effort, man. No effort. This guy is comparing the amount of uh, content between Warhammer 2 and 3 Kingdoms. What are they gonna invent? New history? So they add more content for 3 Kingdoms? I mean, they tried Rome too, they started all those, added all those female units and shit. <clears throat> Warhammer 3, hard to swallow pills. Uh, nothing east of the mountains of Moon will be included. The, uh, that means no Int, Koresh, Nippon, or Kate. Why is the lol in, uh, in brackets next to Koresh? What's funny about Koresh? Am I missing something here, guys? This is the Elige Blind. Arabi will not be added. Not even as an expeditionary force. The Game 3 main campaign will be focused on the Dark Lands and the Mountains of Morn. The Realm of Chaos will be about as present as it is in the game. Would be cool if they extend the map in the in the uh, third uh, Moral Empires, I mean, the second Moral Empires, Warhammer 3, they would actually see more lands of chaos to the north and to the south. And maybe even like, uh, you know, more than just, you know, chaos wastes. But we don't even get proper uh, uh, Lastria and, uh, and the Southlands. I feel like the that cut of the Southlands on the south, and the fact that there is no water going around, it makes it look pretty bad. Especially uh, that part of Southlands below the uh, the Southern Great Desert of Araby, into the uh, area with, uh, with that Empire faction, Sardenburg. That, that, that area has ports. It actually has ports, but it's not connected with the rest of the sea. And then you have area on the east side of the Southlands with the uh, uh, Krogar and they refuse to make any coastal settlements at all. So I feel there's no sense how they created Southernburg if, uh, if there are ports there but they cannot trade with anybody. There is a sea connection between Southernburg and let's say Aldorf but they cannot make trade agreements. Uh, in the uh, final combined map, Lastria and the Southlands will not be expanded or restored. Those cuts were made with Games 3's additions in mind. So instead of having a map that has a lot of north and south, it's instead it's going to be expanded so we have more west and east. Speaking of, you know that big fog of war blob east of Dwarves, they'll, uh, that will get fit in in and that will be the extent of what gets added to the final combined map. Ooh, that's a low blow. 
They can't just do something like that. You know, this guy doesn't realize that they've been working already on Warhammer 3 for over two years. You know, the moment they finish that first person shooter, Three Kingdom upgrades, and that card game, they're gonna continue, you know, finishing Warhammer 3. And, you know, in four years, we'll get a proper expanded map. With like over 400 settlements. Unless you have a, a CPU from the future, make sure to get a book next to uh, uh, next to you so you can read it between the end of ter turn times. Soon, boys, soon, boys. I think we're gonna be doing uh, the Warhammer 3 Early Access. The NDA doesn't really matter much for that one, so whatever limits they impose, it's gonna be worth it to play Warhammer 3. Diablo 4 will be out before Warhammer 3. I would not be surprised, Big Betty. I would not be surprised. Hopefully Diablo 4 will have uh, uh, runes and the runes award system from Diablo 2. Otherwise that game will be a dead on arrival compared to the Pet of Exile 2. What is Tvrtke uh, companies? It's like, you know, company uh, as in running a business. Halflings will not be a real faction. Nobler Hordes will never be a real faction. Saneshi Chariot Spam TM will even be worse than Surta Ek. What's bad about Saneshi Chariot Spam? That sounds uh, proper to me. Proper perversions. Why do people say the Chariot Spams are bad? I, I, you know, I find this, you know, powerful AI strategies. I think the uh, Marauder Horseman Spam is bad. But the chariot spam is never bad. Turn times will not get any faster, they will get worse. Expect even less race packs, race packs than what game 2 got. One of them will probably be another undead faction. Hell yeah! Another undead faction. Or factions will not get fixed. Who, who is this guy who is writing this thing? Ogre Kingdoms will be the greatest addition to the franchise and I'm not biased because I played them on tabletop. I swear. Chaos Dwarf Artillery will be either... Uh, Chaos Dwarf Artillery will either be horrifically overpowered, horrifically underpowered, just to care. Isn't everybody uh, one of these, these three things? Option 3 might be the worst. Demons of Chaos will be one race with su four sub-factions. Looking forward to uh, to see the Demons of Chaos in uh, Warhammer. You know why? Because voice actors, voice lines. Man, if they do the, vo uh, the right voice lines for the Demons, that could, that could be so cool. I don't care what they do with, the, with this, as long as the demons have the right voice lines and the voiceovers, I'll be happy. And the demons should definitely be overpowered. Because the the demon, the strength of demons of chaos, uh, you know, is the level of, you know, could be the level of the strongest things in the Warhammer universe. But seeing how they dance tutorial, you know, makes you wanna, you know, cry. They didn't put any effort into Sartorial because uh, they would break it for multiplayer. That's, you know, explanation why the Sartorial is underwhelming. 
Because I think that Lord is uh, probably pretty okay in multiplayer. Or was at one point. The Russian leak showed that CA was willing to launch Game 2 with three factions. Skaven were going to be DLC. We might not get Kissel at launch or at all. They almost pulled another Warhammer 1 when they released the, uh, the Chaos as a, as a, as a pre-purchase. That's probably the worst thing they've done with, uh, uh, with their release so far. Releasing uh, Warriors of Chaos as one of the uh, you know, DLC factions, pre-purchase. They totally underestimated the uh, the Warhammer player base, and that's a very practically low blow from the CA. Uh, I mean, it might not even be the CA part; it probably wouldn't been the Sega part of the game, of the uh, of the game, because usually it's the publisher with these things. There's always a it's probably some kind of uh, taskmaster uh, from the publishers, uh, you know, looking at what developers are releasing, and then he has the scissors. He's cutting content. <laughs> Cutting corn like in those greedy dwarf goblin eyes and just, you know. Profit! Profit! We know best! We know best! There is a greater than zero chance that Nagash will never be playable. Can you imagine they released uh, those Gothic and Felix jokesters and the, uh, the other guys, but not uh, Nagash? We can't have a Warhammer, a big Warhammer series out without Nagash. This terrifies me. Slanesh Bubus will be censored. Oh no. No. Thank God we're gonna have mods for that. Nurgle boobs on the great unclean one might get censored. No, no, the great unclean one boobs. Well, they can make it easy, you know. They could just make it, you know, you know, is is male, not female, and it's like it's gonna be all right. The guy should be one of the end game, uh, end, end, end game events in the game. The world is big enough. Man, the chaos is a joke, you know. They're probably gonna make Nagash a joke as well. But maybe just initially overpowered. If they don't make chaos on the least overpowered uh, in Warhammer 3, I'm gonna be disappointed. There will be likely. Uh, there will be likely be content pulling directly and uh, overtly from the end times. That is not inherently a bad thing. Total War is a sandbox. Any sort of decisions you don't like are almost guaranteed to not have any impact on our appearance in game. I, I don't know why that read was interesting, you know. That's probably just all, uh, you know, speculations, but. Although always reading these things is pretty cool. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you know what F12 is made for? Which Total War is the best? Lately I've been only playing Total War Medieval 2 and it's getting old. Can you recommend me with some of the good ones?
All the shit, man. Uh, they still worship the the shogun really, really a lot. Let's go see uh, a few things here. I totally forgot something. Oh man, Steam, don't freeze. What's going on with Steam lately? Don't be like that, Steam. We didn't check the reviews here, what what people are playing here. I have some network issues with my PC, I don't know what's going on. Because my laptop is working fine. Let me just restart this. I have some network, a uh, rare network issue, uh, and uh, it, it doesn't even prevent most of the downloads as well. But sometimes the this, this Steam also has issues uh, as well. Oh, um, it's, it's uh, some Steam issue right now. What if I go to Steam on uh, on a website? Ah, uh, it's, it's Steam doesn't even work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Other sites work. Every time something uh, finally comes back into trend, you know, like Star Wars now, and around they see the new episode of Game of Thrones or some shit like that, they always come to this Reddit and ask, you know, can we get the the, uh, the total war in that in that universe? Like it can be modded overnight. What is this? Stormcast Eternal. SRLT. Can get banned on Reddit? What does this even mean? You won't be able to read Reddit anymore? Well, I just got banned from BF5. BF5. What is BF5? Google. What is BF5? Battlefield 5, of course, of course. That picture of a girl with a rifle, I remember now. But why not just B5? I never uh, liked Battlefield games.
Star Wars are trending, yes, Cookies. Uh, the new TV show, uh, uh, you know, is out and the new movie is coming. The new game has been released. It's a big trend right now, Cookies. A big new game, uh, movie, and uh, a game. So they got a big TV show, which people are praising right now. The game, they're praising it as well. And the movie, they're shitting at the usual, you know. Did you read the leaks on Reddit? If, if true, does, what, what do you mean? Uh, what do you mean, Kokis? Hit me. Whisper me on Steam. Just don't, don't whisper me on Steam. I've seen a few people play the new Star Wars game. Looked uh, looked good. My favorite character in the Star Wars uh, uh, universe is Boba Fett. I even play a bounty hunter in the Star Wars uh, online game, the MMO one. So I'm uh, excited to uh, check Mandalorian eventually. I uh, never really liked the uh, the good guys, and uh, I, over the years I felt feel more and more sorry for the Empire, how the uh, the producers and directors are butchering them. So I've been started rooting for the Empire. I hope all those Jedi's die and go to hell and the Empire win the ends. Yeah, the Star Wars, the Old Republic, the MRPG, I played Bound Hunter there. I started hating the Jedi's and the Rebels, my bad, the Resistance, even before the, the new shit movies. Steam doesn't work, oh man. You know, uh, it didn't help the, the Jedi and the Rebel cause, my bad, the Resistance, uh, when they released that cringe pile of shit after the, uh, after the, uh, uh, Phantom Menace, what's it called, the other one, the... Oh, man, the Clone Wars and the Revenge of the Sith, yeah, the Revenge of the Sith, Range of the City is almost as bad as the second movie of Twilight, the second part of Twilight. You're n they're not rebels, Nikitas, they're resistance. They fight for the good cause. Right. Rebels come. 
Nothing would make me happier than uh, rebels getting uh, annihilated and deleted. But it's like they, they, they're everywhere. They're infinite. It's like they crush them here, crush them there. They even destroy planets. Yet they pop up out of nowhere. They just use 3D printers to spawn new rebels. What's the resistance, rebels? Yeah. Did they start calling them resistance? Because they were rebels all this whole time. The rebels is a bad thing, right? The rebels is not a good thing. It's like this almost make them sound like freedom fighters. The the last couple of movies they made the the, uh, the Jedi's and the rebels so look so bad. That people have started rooting for the Empire. They drink secret toast to their health. You know what I'm talking about? Cockroaches. Yes, cockroaches. Rebels can be good. <laughs> Been watching my stream, Lukiva? How many rebellions have we crushed? Thousands. The bastards just come in. They besiege your capital and you lose all your trade. Because economical crisis, negative public order, they raid and they annoy. How can rebels be good, man? What the hell are you talking about? Rebels are only good for one thing, to crush them. Crush them without mercy. Not some bullshit fairy tale that's become the Star Wars of late. Bullshit fairy tale can work for one or two or three movies, but every single time. I don't know about you guys, but I, I'm rooting for the Empire. Until somebody spoils me that the Empire have done some good shit, I'm not watching any more Star Wars movies. It's like, it's like the in the new in the new Star Wars game. You can only play as the bad guys. Why can't we play as the good guys? My my favorite color is red, and red goes so well with black. Just think about it, guys. Black suit with a red sword. That's me. One of the good guys. It's even better if you have a black helmet on, with uh, with uh, the voice changing, uh, you know, device. And and then add a cape on top of that, a cape. Just don't give me no bullshit. Those those shit lightsabers, like dual dual wielding lightsabers, or uh, those those bullshit lightsabers that get two sides, or that sword lightsaber that has a hilt and the sides. It's like, what the hell? Give me just good old fashioned lightsaber and just make it red. How do they call those bullshit lightsabers? They have a. They have a. Uh, they, they go two sides. Dual wielding? Dual wielding is the biggest bullshit. How are they gonna wield the, the lightsaber with their, their hand? They're not even used for, used for it. Double bladed lightsaber, is that what they call it? Double bladed lightsabers and dual wheel, that's like the biggest bullshit ever. Cross guard. Just give me a just standard lightsaber.
Where the lights have no guard. That's yeah, that's strange because uh, I guess uh, the, this uh, the, the, they're not supposed to be used to uh, you know block that much or parry. But it saves hands, you know, it saves fingers. A Rogue One, I liked Rogue One, yeah. That was the last uh, good uh, Star Wars movie. The Rogue One was good. I recommend it. Whatever you do, whatever you do, even if uh, your loved ones, your close ones, your partners in life tell you, do not watch the, the, the Han Solo movie. Take the bullet. Take the bullet instead. I, I I used to like Disney. I mean uh, Marvel, Disney, Disney, Marvel, Marvel, MCU. Until I saw Gwyneth Paltrow in Iron Man suit. Now it's dead to me. They just killed killed the uh, the Marvel for me. Marvel movies can't even take it seriously anymore. Gwyneth Paltrow was just it was the the straw that broke the camel's back. Captain Marvel is the is the proof proof that the hype sells the hype of the uh, of the end game of the uh, of the Infinity War the movie that was in between the the, the most overhyped overblown movies ever made so much money hype sells better than anything else it sells Who Iron Man fought in the first movie? Uh, the Warmonger. The Warmonger, which was uh, which was manipulated by the by the uh, he he manipulated the terrorists. Uh, man, what's his name? Jeff Bridges. Uh, it was all the Warmonger's plan. Jeff Bridges, he, he, he's, he's the villain in the first one. The terrorists are just, you know, puppet, uh, poo, pawns. They were just the pawns. Now wait for MCU Black Thor with tits to save universe. Holy shit, I would definitely watch that. I did announce that. Is it... Yeah, 
Yeah, the, the Marvel villains kind of suck. They don't have Lex Luthor or the Joker types. The, the, the Marvel villains really suck. The next series of movies, I uh, feel like unless they are about villains, uh, I'm not even gonna bother. They need to make movies about the bad guys. And then they fight the good guys uh, three movies later. Why can't they just make like a, like a Lex Luthor or a, or a Joker villain? Last I read, Natalie Portman was in talks to be female Thor. The only reason I uh, really, really uh, uh, watched the uh, and went into the the Star Wars prequels. It's because he had a crush on Natalie Portman. I mean, who, which teenager didn't have a crush on Natalie Portman with the Star Wars prequels? She's like, she's like the only reason. But Natalie Portman was store with that cringy, oh my god, oh my god. I'm going offline. I'm going offline and I'm going to forget about it again. It's a campaign soon, TM.